Welcome back to another episode. I'm just checking the size against the templates for these plates on the duct. By the time I deburr them, they should be about spot on. start to see the basic shape now I have in fact ran out of rivets so I will continue this when I get some more voila I'll carry on with this duct now near side is done now I have tested that these fit on the car I'll put a couple more rivets in each bracket When these are installed for the final time I will cut them off flush so they will be level with this top plate. With the rear quarter panel back on, I can now make the ducting piece that goes around the inside of this curve. attempt to mark the position where this plate has to be mounted to the body and then I can take the rear quarter off and fix it on. It may prove difficult to get it right first time but I'll have a go. This setup is by no means pretty, but it will be under a vent so you won't be able to see any of it. This eventually will be painted black with a black grill over the top. I shall continue with the cooling system. I want to make the mount that holds this water pump 
I have put the pump back in the car and I've measured the angle of the pipe I want coming off the inlet. I'll get these inlet outlet parts fitted and then I'll fit the adapters that will convert the internal diameter to 32 mil. So we're using multiple adapters, we're using the rubber adapter that will go directly onto the pump. Then I'll use the heater hose to go over that rubber adapter. Then the multiple joiner will go into the heater hose. It's that one I believe. And then that will convert down to 32mm ID for the rest of the pipe. With the trimmed adapters, I can now put them straight into the pipe. I have modified a couple of right angle adapters. This will channel the hose in a more natural direction through this hole in the bulkhead. Both pipes will not fit through this hole, so I'll drill one underneath. As you can see, there's only one pipe and it's already getting pretty busy around this area. I may be able to route these pipes in between the intercooler pipe and this headlight. I will try that orientation before I make any final decisions. This routing works well. There is space between the light and the intercooler pipe. so. For the bottom hose on the engine I can now have a straight piece rather than a 90 coming directly up instead it wants a gentle curve up and under this part So you get the idea, it's pretty busy under there but by the time this bottom pipe is connected to that straight piece, it should be a fairly gentle curve up and over here. In order for the coolant lines to clear these air ducts, I'm going to run them tight up against the turret on the side here. Because I have the 90s on the radiator, I have plenty of clearance for the duct. So these radiator hoses are good for 10 bar apparently. When the pipes are installed for the final time, I will put plastic conduit over them just to prevent wear and tear. Next, I'll focus on making the mount for the water pump. What I will attempt to do is make a mount that clamps around the roll cage. 
Therefore, it can be moved slightly and it can be taken in and out easily. So there's no welding on the car. Good start, but when I go to install it for the final time, I'll put a bracket on this bottom corner and then bolt it directly to the chassis so it stops any flex. I will form this much better so it wraps tight around the roll cage, which will help it hold in place. Next, I need to mark where I need to cut the hose that's going through the pump. The return hose is this one, it will go from the bottom of the radiator to the inlet of the engine. With these cable tied together once the plastic protective conduit is on there I think this will provide plenty of protection for the passenger through the conduit and the pipe they're not going to get too hot there's still loads of room for mounting the passenger seat also the access hole that I cut previously can be used for electrical wires and possibly the fuel lines I best test the duct just to make sure it clears these pipes 
This pipe here just about clears everything. This top one is too close, I'd say. It's touching, get in there. It's touching this corner here. All I'll do is I'll just notch this duct slightly. It's like a treat now, it's fairly close tolerances but once the conduit's on it'll protect the pipe work well so there shouldn't be any rubbing. Hope you liked this episode and I'll see you next week.